Good morning, boys and girls. We are going to be having a messy Monday today. We're just going to be having fun today and making some decorations for Easter because Easter's coming up this Sunday. And I hope that the Easter Bunny is going to come and visit you. Um, so we're going to start today by using your oval shaped paper. So if you find your oval shaped paper, and we're going to put that on top of a paper towel. And then we need to have our tissue paper. And what we're going to be doing is making a beautiful colored egg. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by taking your tissue paper and placing it all over your egg so that you cover the entire egg with your tissue paper. You can overlap the paper and the darker colors, the better. Okay. Make sure you're only putting one paper on in each spot. And then we're going to make some magic. Now, once you have the egg completely covered with tissue paper like this, so you can't even see it anymore, we're going to take some water. And you can either use an eyedropper or a paintbrush. And what you're going to do is you're going to drop water, little droplets, all over the paper. Or if you have a paintbrush, you're just going to dot it. Don't go back and forth because the papers will move, but just dot the paper with the paintbrush. And you're going to do this until the whole thing is covered. It's a lot of work, but it's really good for your fingers to get some exercise. Look at that, squirting all over. I'm also going to use my paintbrush, spread it around. But remember, you're just dotting it. You're not painting back and forth. You're just dotting the water to cover it all and make sure every last piece of paper is wet. And don't go in one spot. You have to spread it around. Now, once the whole thing is wet, all that paper is wet, you're just going to simply take it I'm almost done. Okay, excellent. Then you're going to take it and you're going to put it on the side because that needs to dry. Okay, so we're going to leave that to dry and we're going to take out the next step that we need. Okay, you're going to take out your three colors of paint, blue, yellow, and pink, our spring colors. 
you're going to take your big piece of white paper that's in the shape of a rectangle and you're going to take your two plastic eggs that I gave you and if you have some place a paper plate that you can pour your paint out on you're going to do that okay so I'm going to pour some paint on my plate yellow, some blue, and some pink. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eggs and I'm going to break them in half. Now, what shape is made when I break it in half, a circle. So I'm gonna break my other egg in half and have a circle also. So now I'm going to take them, I'm gonna put one in the pink paint, one in the blue paint, and one in the yellow paint. And now I'm going to do some egg painting. So first I'm gonna start with my color yellow. I'm gonna make sure it's around, and I'm going to dot my paper all around, make a design all over my paper with the yellow paint. Look at that, look at all those yellow circles that Miss Linda made. And then I'm going to take my next egg and I'm going to make some blue circles. Look at all those circles. Okay, and next I want to add some pink ones, all these nice spring colors. Because today is a beautiful spring day. I can't wait to go play outside in my backyard and get some sunshine. Look at that. And when you're all done, you'll have some beautiful egg painting all those beautiful spring circles now i know we have some leftover paint so every one of you has an egg some of you have pink eggs some of you have white eggs some of you have yellow eggs but everybody has an egg shaped like an oval and you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to paint whatever you want on your egg you can make some dots. I'm gonna make some dots on my egg. And I'm gonna wash it off. And let me see. Next, I think I'm gonna use my blue paint. I'm gonna make some squiggly lines. Look at that like a snake, ooh, hiss. All right, I'm gonna make some more squiggly lines. Mm -mm, to get some more paint. Wow, okay. And now I'm gonna get some yellow paint and I think I'm gonna make some more little squiggly lines with my yellow paint. boys and girls, then you have a beautiful egg that you can hang up to decorate somewhere in the house. So we have our painted Easter egg. We have our egg painting, which made lots of circles. And then once 
your first Easter egg is dry, what you're going to do is you're going to pick off the paper and when it's dry, it should come off very easily. Okay. And then you will notice that by you wetting the tissue paper, the color came through and you made a beautiful, this one needs to dry a little bit more, but once it's dry, you'll have a beautiful colored egg like this. So I hope you had fun today making some Easter decorations to hang up in your house. I'll see you soon. Bye.